Hello everyone. Myself Dr. Vijayalakshmi. In this video we are going to study about terpenoids. What are terpenoids or what are terpenes? Many of the fragment components of plants are volatile with steam and may be isolated by steam distillation, solvent extraction or other treatment of the plant. These components are called essential oils. The essential oils are not pure single compounds. They usually consist of mixtures of hydrocarbons containing 10, 15, 20, 30 or 40 carbon atoms or their oxygenated derivatives. These essential components of essential oils or these individual components of essential oils are called terpenes or terpenoids. So let us see what are terpenes. Terpenoids are a group of naturally occurring compounds, majority of which occurs in plants and only few obtained from the other sources. These are volatile substances and gives plants and flowers their fragrances. They occur in the leaves, fruits and high, uh, of the higher plants such as conifers, citrus, eucalyptus. So you ha I think you have observed the eucalyptus or citrus plants. The fragrance of that is due to the terpenes or terpenoids which are present in that plants. Hydrocarbons, the terpenes which contain only hydrocarbon skeleton, they are called terpenes. And when these hydrocarbons are modified as um, by oxidation or rearrangement of carbon skeleton, that resulting compounds are called terpenoids. That is, the hydro only hydrocarbon chain of the compounds are called terpenes and if these hydrocarbons are oxygenated then that oxygenated derivatives are called terpenoids. So what is the definition of terpenoids? So these are hydrocarbons of plant origin having a general formula C5H8 N as well as their oxygenated hydrogenated or dehydrogenated derivatives. So in this the general formula C5H8 is the formula of isoprene. So terpenoids are also called as polymers of isoprene. So C5H8 that is isoprene structure is given here CH2 double bond C CH3 CH double bond CH2. Common name is isoprene and its IUPAC name is 2-methyl-1,3-butadiene. The terpenes contains isoprene as a monomer unit. So number of isomer units are combined. So maybe 2 or 3 or 4, 5 or any numbers and gives the polymer and that polymer is called terpenes. Or if this Isoprenes are oxygenated, sometimes they contain oxygen that may be a hydroxyl group or a COH that is carboxylic acid group or CHO aldehyde group. If they contain such functional groups means oxygen in that then they are called as terpenoids. So terpenoids consist of a complex mixture of terpenes or sesquiterpenes. Sesquiterpenes means two terpenes, two monomer units that is only the hydrocarbon chain. Along with hydrocarbon chain they may contain side chain or a functional group alcohol or they may contain aldehyde or they may contain ketones or acids or esters. So these all alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, acids or esters they contain oxygen. So when the hydrocarbon unit along with oxygen they are called terpenoids. So terpenoids are complex mixtures of terpenes that is hydrocarbon chain and along with that 
any of these functional groups may present so what are terpenes how the isoprene units are um, joined in that hmm? how the isoprene units are um, joined to make a terpenes for that ingold gave a rule that is called ingold's isoprene rule it is proposed by ingold in 1925 it shows how the isoprene units in terpene molecule are linked together for this the branched end of the isoprene unit is considered as head the branched end that is here this is considered as head and another head is considered another end is considered as tail so already we have seen the structure that is ch2 double bond c ch3 ch double bond ch2 so this is the branched end and and this is called head and this is the another carbon another end this is called tail so according to ingold molecules of terpenoids are built up of isoprene units joined head to tail fashion so you can see here the five carbons the branched end carbon towards the branched end is called head and another one is called a tail and here two isoprene units which are joined head to tail manner so there may be open chain or closed chain so see here a cyclic open chain head and this is tail another molecule head and tail they are joined so here two isoprene units are joined to form one terpene here also in this two isoprene units are joined but it is in the cyclic manner so these isoprene units are joined in head to tail fashion so maybe they are a cyclic or cyclic fashion but this rule can only be used as a guiding principle and not as a fixed rule okay now let us study classification of terpenes so terpenes are classified according to the number of isoprene units they contain so how much isoprene units are present in the molecule depending upon that the classification is the first one as monoterpenoids so number of isoprene units present in the monoterpenoids is 2 so molecular formula is c10h16 two isoprene units are present sesquiterpenoids three isoprene units are present in sesquiterpenoids and the molecular formula is c15h24 diterpenoids contains four isoprene unit molecular formula c20h32 triterpenoids the molecular formula sorry number of isoprene units are 6 and the molecular formula is c30h48 tetraterpenoids or these are also called carotenoids you may heard the name carotenoids which gives color to the um, compounds so some of the vegetables that is carrots carrots having that particular color that is due to carotenoids beetroot having its particular color due to carotenoids present in it so number of isoprene units present are 8 so the molecular formula is c40h64 more than 8 isoprene units are present then they are called as polyterpenoids so it is c for you h8 n numbers so this is the main classification this is depends upon number of isoprene units present in the compound this polyterpenoids consist long chain of many isoprene units natural rubber contains polyisoprene in which double bonds are in the cis form some plants produce a polyisoprene units with 
ट्रांस डबल बॉन्ड इन एडिशन टू दिस दैट इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन नंबर ऑफ आइसोप्रीन यूनिट्स द क्लासिफिकेशन इज डन एंड इन एडिशन टू दिस क्लासिफिकेशन अनदर क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड ऑन द नंबर ऑफ रिंग्स प्रजेंट इन द मॉलिक्यूल दैट इज इफ इट इज अ just a open chain compound if the both the ends are free then they are called a cyclic if isoprene units are joined together to form a cyclic compound then they are called as cyclic terpenes depending upon the num uh, how many cycles hmm, present how many rings are present in the molecule on that another classification so first one a cyclic they contain open chain structure monocyclic they contain one ring in their structure so here number of isoprene units may be vary but whether it is in the cyclic manner or a cyclic manner or if it is in the cyclic manner then how many isoprene uh, sorry how many cycles are present how many rings are present in the compound depending upon this classification is done monocyclic they contain one ring in their structure bicyclic they contain two rings in their structure tricyclic they contain three rings in their structure tetracyclic they contain four ring in their structure and so on then it is continued So in the next class let us see some examples of these isoprene uh, sorry cyclic and acyclic compounds and then we'll study the structure of citral thank you